we're about to run through how to use your phone as a webcam step by step for both iPhone and Android smartphones using completely free software on both Mac and Windows PC. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're seeing value in this video, make sure you're giving it a thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference. And all the links to everything I mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Now, why would you want to use a smartphone as a webcam? Well, if you've got a modern iPhone or an Android device, that camera that's sitting in your pocket will way outperform any of the off the shelf webcams that are available today. Now, there's a lot of different tools and apps out there to help you do this, and I have tried and tested a ton of them. Some of them are absolute rubbish, whereas others of them work really, really well. So my top two picks right now is Irian and Epoch Cam, and you can get great results with both of them. Now, both of them have a free version available but they also have a paid version where you can remove the watermark and you can also unlock higher resolutions or higher video quality as well both of them will work with both Mac or PC but right now at the time of filming this video epoch cam won't work with Android so you will need to be using an iOS device if you're going to use that if not if you're on the Android side then Irian is going to be the perfect solution for you now in terms of quality it is primarily limited by which device you're going to be using and the capabilities of that device. Irian on Android will go up to 4K resolutions, whereas on iOS or using Epoch Cam, you're going to be limited to 1080p at 30 frames per second, which is still amazing quality. Now, probably the biggest reason why these two apps are the top two apps is because of their ease of use, because of their simplicity, because of the price, if you want to upgrade to the Pro or the full unlocked version, but also because of just how well they work, both over Wi-Fi and USB. It is ridiculous how well these work with next next to no latency or next to no delay over Wi-Fi yeah, as well as cable. Now really quickly on the pricing to unlock to the unrestricted versions of both of these, Irian for the pro version is $4.49 and Epoch Cam is $7.99. Now in terms of getting everything set up and running, the process for both of these is almost identical. So I'm gonna take you through the process of using Epoch Cam, but you can follow along the same process with Irian as well. So you just wanna head over to the website and download and install the software for your computer. Again, there's links in the description box below. Once that's installed, you wanna make sure that you've got the app downloaded and installed on your phone. You'll then wanna decide if you're gonna be connecting your phone to your computer via Wi-Fi. So then you wanna make sure that they're both connected to the same network, or you wanna be using a USB cable. Now, as I said, in both cases, with both of these recommendations, Wi-Fi works ridiculously well. I really didn't think that it would work as well as it does. There is next to no delay, no latency in all of my tests and across Mac and PC. But personally, I do recommend using a cable wherever possible so that your phone isn't going to go flat while you're using it as a webcam. It's able to be charged from your computer at the same time. And it's also gonna help you remove any potential Wi-Fi issues if you're in an area where your Wi-Fi signal isn't that good or maybe there's interference from maybe a neighbor's Wi-Fi or something. Now for this example, I'm on an iPhone 12 Pro, obviously using Epoch Cam. I've just opened up the app and it's connected to my computer. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up in OBS, a new video capture device, a new webcam. And we go okay, we can just find this now in the drop down. we can see here we've got Epoch Cam. Let's just change the resolution to high, which will give us the 1920 by 1080. Let's go okay, and this is it in real time over wireless. So pretty amazing, and you can see if I grab the phone and move it around, there is next to no lag or very minimal lag of a Wi-Fi, which is amazing. Now on the app itself, if we go over here to settings, you can see that we can choose auto connection, Wi-Fi, USB, or NDI if we wanna connect that way. And we get to specify our quality. So it's currently set to best quality, but we can also choose good or fair. So if you are having connection issues, if you're over Wi-Fi or you want a lower quality feed in, then you can do that in here as well. There's also built-in green screen in this app as well. Now if we tap out of that and come back over to the side here, then we have the ability to flip our screen, mirror our screen. You also have the ability to switch between the cameras. So if we press on this button here, then it's gonna flip around to the back camera. And you can see that currently I am on the ultra wide. So if we have a look at what that looks like now, uh, on the computer, then you can see how messy the office is, uh, but we get access to the ultra wide. If we press the little button up the top again, I can also switch to the one times 
or the two times zoom if you want as well. well. That's definitely way too close. But it's awesome that you got access to use all the different camera lenses that are built into your camera. Okay, so I'm just back on the front one now. Uh, we also have the ability to bring in audio, mute the phone's audio as well. So you can use your phone as a microphone if you need to. And down the bottom here, the last one is green screen to enable that. In my opinion, it's absolute trash and I wouldn't bother using it. Uh, <laughs> Even though I don't have a green screen behind me, it really doesn't work very well at all. Now, one of the cool features that both of these apps, Irian and Epoch Cam, have is the ability to use the flash on the back of your camera. So if you're going to be using the back camera, the primary camera, the better quality camera, then you can actually use the flash to light you up as well. So now if we go back to the computer and let's open up Zoom, start a Zoom call, you can see that it's already defaulted to the right webcam here for me. But if you're not seeing this, then down the bottom here, you can switch and select your Epoch cam or your Irian cam from here. And again, this is us still connected over Wi-Fi. You can see there's really next to no delay or, or any issues with this. It looks good and uh, yeah, amazing. I'm still using the front facing camera. Now, earlier in the video, I said I would share with you a couple of pro tips to help you get the most out of this and to remove any of the common issues or places that people have problems when they're doing this. So here's a quick list for you. First off, you wanna make sure that your camera lens is clean. This kind of goes without saying with any camera that you're using, but if this is your phone, it's up against your face, you might've just come off a phone call before you're gonna hook it up to use it as a webcam. You wanna make sure that you're removing any fingerprints, dirt, grime, smudges on your camera lens. Again, for the front camera, or the rear one. If you're gonna be connecting over Wi-Fi, then make sure that you've got enough battery to last you for the length of time you're gonna be using your phone as a webcam. This is gonna be using your camera, meaning that your battery life will go down much faster than normal. So wherever possible, plug it into power or directly into the computer so that you're not gonna have your phone go flat while you're using it. I'd also strongly recommend that you're putting your phone into do not disturb mode, blocking mode, or flight mode so that you've got no interruptions coming through while you're using it. Worst case scenario here, having something like a phone call come in could definitely stop your webcam working and it may not resume automatically after that call has finished. So those are just a few simple tips to help you get the most out of your new webcam. And now that you have your new webcam all set up and running, if you wanna level up on the audio side of things and you wanna know the best microphones to use for your scenario, then check out the video linked on screen where we take you through all of our top options. I'll see you in the next one.